Right. Okay, Simon, off you go. Hi, I'm Simon Pritchard, and this is my presentation on professional development, my experience that I was uh, aiming to achieve over these two years. Ooh, that sort of zoomed out. Uh, we all start out at zero days. The key thing here is to learn knowledge and skills that you'll learn from the college or from doing research, but also to uh, think about all the radio contacts that you might have already had and all the work experience that you might have previously done. Because even though that doesn't count, uh, contact, having like previous contacts is pr uh, normally the easiest way to find more work experience. Preparation. Uh, once you arrive, you need to settle in and learn the lay of the land, as it were. Like one of the major mistakes I made was not was learning about all the radio stations in the local area, but not knowing where they actually were physically. So that's something that you kind of need to do. Uh, next is a presentation. Uh, when I say by this, I don't mean actually doing presentations, but I mean more uh, your CV, uh, your Facebook, basically how you present yourself professionally, how you talk to people, how you address, and how you carry over across your skills. That's, um, Research, of course, uh, research, uh, listening to the radio, uh, uh, to <laughs> college and books, networking. Uh, it's networking is very important and it's really difficult at times. Like, you can find contact information online, but normally it's easier to meet people in person. You know, it's best if you can meet someone in person at an event, some kind of radio event, or a talk, or anything like that because that leaves a better impression than an email or a phone call. Active listening. Uh, active listening to radio. Uh, I, you know, I always listen to radio, but I never really sat down for like an hour and just listened to radio with no other distractions. And that is really key to understanding. Yeah. Another research that you might want to cover are things like music, current affairs, you know, sport, stuff that's frequently mentioned on radio stations, uh, you know, stuff that might be big if you want to go to somewhere like hot for like sport, or if you want to go to news, obviously, uh, news. Uh, Aspire. Uh, Aspire gets a bit of bad rep from some of the second years, but I really like Aspire. Um, it gives you the chance to like try like anything you want, really, because uh, there's less negative consequences for it going terribly wrong than there are at, say, Nerve or at another radio station. So you can try out more stuff, but at the same time, you do need to, you know, it is still a professional environment, and, you know, it, it's, and it's right here, so, you know, it's, you know. Uh, nerve. Uh, nerve is the student station. Uh, it's pretty easy to get involved, but you do, you know, it is good to, like, know all the people in Nerve. Uh, if you want to get like the best time slots and everything, um, it's you can pretty much you know like the best thing about nerve is that you get to produce your heart you know you get to kind of every two weeks or every week you sit down and you plan out your show and it's very high pressure but I do enjoy it very much. Uh, so from Aspire Nerve you can get twenty days, but. For your other 10 days, you do need to leave the cottage and go further afield. And uh, <laughs> I tried first the BBC. Uh, I think everyone tries the BBC at some point. Not many people make it in. But uh, as the BBC is publicly funded, uh, they, some of its money goes towards a work experience scheme. And it's open to everyone. And it's, you know, it's. You know, it's designed for like everybody. So like they try and take as many different people in as possible. So you know, I I've got a visual impairment, so I mentioned that. And I mentioned I, I applied for uh, drama and I mentioned my performing arts experience. But I didn't get a response sadly. But it is worth trying. But another way to go through is if you know someone at the BBC or you can get their email, you can contact them that way, but you're not really supposed to. Kane FM. Uh, Kane FM is a community station in Guildford. 
I really like Kane FM. Uh, Kane FM is Kane FM. It used to be a pirate radio station back in the 90s. Uh, it was to do with underground rave culture, I believe, and gigs and concerts and that. And uh, when I was 14, I did work experience at a record shop. And one of the guys working there is a presenter on Kane FM. And I didn't even know until like Christmas of last year. And so I have applied to do their work experience, which will be in February. And I am like their first real work experience person on this new scheme. And it's kind of exciting, really, because I, you know, they'll be putting me. I'll be working with this uh, this magazine called the Good Time Guide, which is like a local Guildford guide that's pretty pretty much covers everything uh, to go on Guildford. Uh, Kane's really good because it really has a lot of connections within the Guildford community, like uh, the the music college, uh, ACM, lots of Academy of Music, yeah. And they, they have lots of, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry, out of their t uh, uh, 120 volunteers, 25% of them are unemployed, and they give opportunities to people who don't have jobs, and who, some, some of them are too sick to work, like when I met, he had like um, an illness of some kind, and he couldn't go to work, but, you know, like, he had something to do on this radio station. Uh, they're also very supportive of local artists and events and uh, gigs and that sort of thing. The other station that I've gone to for work experience is Hope FM. Hope FM is very different from Kane FM, as it is a, a Christian radio station. Uh, it's a community station as well, but unlike Kane, it has very different core set of values. Uh, Hope is very centred on charity work and on, you know, building a Christian community in the area. And they have, you know, lots of, you know, features like Generation Y, which is like their, their young, slightly younger show. And they have a business hour, which is more a business special hour. A community matters, which is a community show. Uh, but they also have, you know, like a number of, you know, Christian-centric shows, uh, and I quite like that because the only uh, I I have a friend who whose father wants to start up a Christian community station in Hertfordshire, so I thought that maybe this would be quite a good like something to get into would be quite you know to gain experience in that particular area. Okay, so. In conclusion, I would say that you really need to focus on research into local radio stations, into the radio. Uh, research into the radio in general is very important because you always need to have stuff to talk about. Uh, I found, you know, a lot of people will be quite impressed if you can display certain radio knowledge. Other people will be very, you know, uh, you know they'll be kind of shocked if you don't know certain things. So it is important to have that knowledge. Uh, networking, uh, you need to make sure that you've got many contacts, you're constantly meeting new people, you radio people preferably, but anyone, because anyone might know someone. Uh, and phone calls. Uh, I kind of used to send out a lot of emails, which didn't get me very far. Uh, you really need to do phone calls. Putting someone on the phone is you know, getting someone on the phone is just, you know, so much better. I'm very chirpy on the phone. I'm very cheerful on the phone. I can do a good phone conversation. But, and you need to be, you know, professional and formal and get your point across quickly. And that's normally easiest to do on a phone call. Um, finally, listen to the radio. Uh, you know, any radio, but also specifically of any stations that you might be interested in for applying work experience at. Because they will ask you what you like about their station and stuff like that. Um, so, any questions? Thanks, Simon. Uh, Jason, question for Simon, please. Um, 
Yeah, like you said, um, would you say that it's definitely important for us to like go around to all the local stations and just kind of like, be aware of it physically? Like, do you reckon that's kind of the most important thing to start with? I don't think it's the most important thing to start off with, but you definitely need to get it done. You know, before you know, when you're selecting places for work experience, you need to kind of know where they are, okay. which I didn't really research until this year. So, you know, I was applying for work experience, and then I was realizing I don't know where any of these places are, like because you don't think about it because it's on the radio. But yeah, you do need to, you know, find out where they are. Some of them are in easier access to easy places to access. Henry, question for Simon, please. Um, what are your goals? My goals? Right after this degree. Um, well, uh, I will be completing the course this year, and then I will be probably looking for a job in the Baldwin Pool area. Okay. In terms of radio, I really like community radio. Like, I kind of like the kind of... Uh, if you can find the right station, they're you know they're always you know they're often really friendly guys and they often do really good stuff. So if I was working at a community station like Kane on a voluntary basis and then maybe over time gain more experience and go into maybe a full time job, that's a possibility as well. Okay, thank you, Simon.